it is a very, very good mix of being creative, you do stuff with your hands, you use your brain, you use a bit of science, you use a bit of art. Growing up in Toronto, uh, we didn't have a great variety of beers from uh, foreign lands to try. We were a bit limited because of uh, import restrictions and things. Um, it wasn't until I came out to the UK in the mid 80s that I really got to see the wide range of beers that were available from all around the world. When I got here, I was uh, exposed to so many different styles from pale ales to stouts to porters to barley wines, Belgian beers, German beers, wheat beers, all sorts of different sort of beers that uh, we all kind of now take for granted that we've got good access to. But for me, that was very much a, an eye-opener and it, it really did inspire me to explore brewing further and further. One of my favorite brews I've brewed so far is uh, Yukon Gold, and that was uh, brewed to commemorate the uh, Yukon Gold Rush in Canada in 1897. So I brewed it to a strength of 1,097 degrees of gravity to give us a 9.7% beer. It was golden in color. It used malt from East Anglia, where my parents came from. It uh, used uh, hops that were uh, grown from a half a Canadian hop and a half an English hop, so that brought those two together. So it's, it's, it tells a story about that episode in Canadian history and also tells a story about my family. By the medium of beer and then sort of how you package that beer, where you present it, who you present it to, you can tell a story, you can educate, you can get people to take an interest in more than just the beer. I like to approach brewing from a sustainable point of view so we can minimize our effect on the environment and we try and reuse as much as we can, we try to be as efficient in our deliveries, we try to be as efficient in our use of packaging and uh, by these little changes maybe we can contribute to the uh, the bigger picture. Brewing is a true art. It's a wonderful mix of art and science and using the scientific principles that underline it, you can create works of expression that are part of you, they come out of you, they can express part of your thinking. They're also ephemeral. They're only here today and they're gone tomorrow, so enjoy them while you can. Well, I guess that can tell you something about life as well.